this is Priscilla Batzel at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard in Spring Hill, Florida. Welcome to my studio. I have a vague plan and some glasses and a 16 by 20 inch canvas that's got some schmutz on it. Well, I was shaking paint, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to do some strange stuff. It's probably pretty normal for most people who watch me all the time. I'm going to need to change my bottle out pretty quick here because once the cap is loose like that it's going to fall off. So I kind of want to have half black half white but I want it on a diagonal and I don't want it to be even down the center. So I'm going to use my OXO omelette turning spatula to give myself that and obviously I'm going to make a mistake here and there so I guess it doesn't matter because it's just paint in the background meant to flow other paint and maybe it will show up and maybe it will not. I'm going to scrape that right over there, knock anything that's dripping over the sides, over, over the sides, <laughs> yeah, and take anything that's left on my spatula before I wipe it off on a nice, clean, white, excuse me, wet rag. Hopefully I've got enough of this. And I don't really, I'm not ready to pollute that yet, but it's coming, believe me it is. So the first thing I really want to do is play with some chain. And the last thing I might do is put some balloon rolls in it, but we'll see what happens. I'm just basically going to make sure that there's no canvas left showing. And I'm not going to worry too much about what happens in between, because I don't mind the gray at all. I like it. I would like some other colors, but I'm not sure what they are yet, so when my muse whispers in my ear, I will be doing something about that, but until then I won't. So my first idea was to take some white paint and some black paint and take the heavy duty chain or the regular ball chain. I have little pieces of the smaller ball chain. This is the larger ball chain I got off on some Florida drapes that were being thrown away in somebody's trash. You can see the difference. And this gets very stiff very quickly, so I don't know how that's going to work. But I do want to drag things from this place to that, and from that place to this, and see how I'm going to like that before I do any more of it. And I kind of do like it, so there may not be any colors involved at all. So if I put white in the black and black in the white, we might have a really fast painting. I'm going to just indulge my creative soul and add what I want where I want it and drag freely and use the residuals the same way. Wow, I really like that. <laughs> That's great. We could be done with this in a flash and I'll not have to be moving onto another canvas. Very fast video. So, if you like what I do, <laughs> shop my Amazon link at no added cost to you because I think this is going to be really fast. I see that area it does not look like it has much canvas on it. I am much paint on the canvas. So I want to go ahead and give me both the opportunity to go this way the opportunity to go that way. And I really liked some stuff I had up there. This is very musical for me. It's like composing a song that is just so, um, it's just sublimely simple at this point. And it behooves me to stop now, but I'm having too much fun, which is sometimes a problem. The stopping part when you're having too much fun. So I'm going to make sure, wow am I? I'm going to dip my chain right there because I see there's a bunch of black paint there and I can steal some. And then I'm going to do it again. Drag it down. As long as I still like what I have, I can leave it simple-ish. You know what? I'm just going to torch right now because I love what I have. And I know black and white sells. Black and white together often will sell. And I want to see what happens. 
and maybe I can rescue it and maybe I can't if I want to. But I think that I'm just going to leave this right like it is and start another one and do exactly the same thing again and that time add colors because this is just something that I really, really like. Did I ever tell you guys the first painting I sold for $1,000 was about this size and it was on raw, just plain primed white canvas with staples on the sides. I put it in the show. It was done with a dribble bottle of gesso. <laughs> It was a Bob Ross dribble bottle of gesso, in fact. And I'm going to cover my edges right now with some other paint and tell you guys if you want to help me out and I would love your help, give me a thumbs up. I know that was super fast, but sometimes you just got to figure that you're well off and uh, leave well enough alone. And I am going to be covering my edges for a minute while I tell you guys that I love you and there's over 80,000 of you. And uh, actually there's just about to be 81,000 of you while because my subscriptions went away but um, it looks like somebody's at least being considerate enough to put me in places where people can see me again a little bit which I so appreciate thank you whoever you are algorithm included and uh, anyway I do sell my artwork I do give classes at the house in Spring Hill Florida in air-conditioned comfort I'm gonna get this paint off my hands I have links under the video to PayPal and Patreon if you want to join into any given month's drawing. And you can always see what the uh, drawing prize winners prizes are on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of most of the videos because I bulk edit them and post them there. And uh, for a $10 minimum donation that helps me keep painting, thank you very much, and bringing you guys free art lessons, well, sort of free mostly free, except for those 20-minute commercials that I would take away if I won the lottery. I would take away all the commercials if I won the lottery and I would still bring you videos, but I cannot do that because I am trying to pay for art supplies, which makes it rather interesting. But uh, so far, so good. I have a book called Because I Can, and it is on. I'm using my finger to touch up all my sides because that's the best way to decide to color match, especially when it's black and white which makes it kind of simple right now. But I don't want to, um, I don't want to change the top to the bottom too much, if you know what I mean. I want the color that goes over the side to be the same as what's below it, above it, above it. <laughs> I can talk, yes I can. Anyway, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida. So happy you could join me. And wondering what I'm gonna do with that and thinking, Ah, uh, well, a little more chain won't hurt anything, right? Nope, didn't hurt a thing. Same over here, I hope. Yeah, I really like the chain. Stop playing with the chain now. <laughs> we don't want to... In we don't want to make our muse mad. And, um... So anyway, if you look for, if you look under the video, you'll find my paint pouring recipe. You'll also find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. And um, the paint pouring recipe is pretty, pretty inclusive. It, uh, it shares with you how I use squeeze bottles and what I put in them and why. And that I store all my paints that way. And I've talked to you guys almost as much as I can possibly manage. I just want to go do another canvas like this because this is fantastic. Although, I see that there and I want to fix that too. And I still have left this chain. Um, let's see what happens next time. Yes. Yes, yes, and more yes. Anywhere that I see canvas, I'm going to give myself a little permission right now. to drag a chain through. Even though it's going to change what I had slightly, I'm not going to complain too much. I could use a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, which are available on the Amazon link. Underneath Show More, there's like seven of them that I like to use. There's also basting brushes, but you can probably find those. Yeah, I didn't like that. I want that canvas covered, and my finger right now is the best tool. <laughs> 
because there's I know if there's something stuck to it and there's nothing stuck to it right now so I love you guys I hope you uh, visit the end screens and see my website there in the um, in the lower right hand corner and look for Fine Art America and Pixels.com on my Expressionist Art Studio Gallery page pages on Facebook. And if you're looking to be a student and share information with other students and ask questions on the page, look for Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group on Facebook and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for people who want to own my artwork or enjoy looking at it. And someday those albums might actually get populated. All right, so that was a lot of talk for a little art, but I think the art speaks for itself, and I am very, very pleased with that. And I don't mind saying so. I love you guys. Thanks for all the great comments. Thanks for all the contributions that have kept me painting in the past. And uh, please don't quit on me now. If you want to help me out, go Christmas shopping at Teespring. The clothing below the video has amazing all-over t-shirts and leggings and wall hangings and pillows and all kinds of manner of gorgeous housewares and, uh, and apparel. I just wonder about this spot here. I think I need that spot there. Okay, so I'll see you guys in another video. Watch tomorrow. I post every day and uh, I changed my time to 6.30 a.m. in the morning so that if the kids are up and, and they have their homework done <laughs> And they're not rushing to catch a bus. They ha might have a few minutes to watch it. And if anybody needs it to be earlier, please, please um, mention that, and I'll post earlier. What else? What else? Please give me a thumbs up. I don't know if it helps or not, but if in, just in case it does, I would really appreciate you having the courtesy to give me a thumbs up if you enjoy what I do. I appreciate you guys endlessly. So I'll see you in on. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Saying I better zoom out. You can't see all of that. Anyway. Musical. Love it. I keep seeing stuff I want to change, but I'll do it in the next painting, and I recommend that's a good theory. Bye for now. Priscilla out. See you soon.